Hey guys, me Tess Blaine, I'm back again, and today I have another really cool item here from Bassner, and well, let's just get started. Okay, so today what I have is I have this lighting kit that's gonna help make your, your Model Y 2020, 2021 version look a little bit cooler at night and whenever you're getting in and out of your car. So what I've got is currently with your ambient lighting, you have your foot wells up underneath. And your foot wells, you can, um, they come with a very dim white light. Well, you can change those out to different colors, whatever you like. Personally, I like blue, so I, I changed mine out a long time ago, and um, they're blue. And at nighttime, when you're driving around, you see this nice little light uh, blue glow on your feet. It's not very bright, but um, it, it's there. Now, for the people in the back seats, they have nothing down there by their feet. So let's say at nighttime, they're driving around and they drop something, they can't look down and just pick it up very easily. You'd have to turn the dome lights on and everything else and there'd be reaching around. So what this kit is that I have right here is this kit adds these LED bars that will be one up underneath the front on each side and one underneath the back seats. And what is also cool about these is that every time you open up your doors, when your footwell lights come on, these lights come on too. And when they turn off, these turn off. And then at nighttime, once it gets dark enough in your vehicle, they're automatically come on. So it's pretty cool. And I like the fact that they don't stay on 24 seven, that it's gonna help them with a little bit longer longevity of a lifespan. And you can also control these lights to whatever color you want. They have a really cool app. You can have them uh, play to, towards the music. They, they will vibrate or do everything, well, not vibrate, but they will bounce to the music and all that. Um, you can have it Christmas colors. You can have it all blue. You can have it white. You can do whatever color you want on these and they work. So I want to show you today how easy they are to install. And all I'm going to be doing is we're going to be taking off the um, underneath the dash panels there. We're going to pull them down and then we're going to disconnect the footwell lights splice these ones into it. it's just a click and then you have the other one and put them in there and then run the cable back to underneath the seat here and put the other light up underneath the seat and that's it and then you well you scan the barcode here and let me go ahead and open it up and show you so here's the lights they do come with a tool so you don't you, I don't even think you're gonna even have to buy any tools at all. You just got this right here. And if your car needs it, it also has this little tool here. Depends on what year, what model and everything else. So you got that. But here's the lights. So the lights, like I said, they're about uh, roughly around six, six and a half inches long. They got the 3M tape below. The barcode I was telling you about that you'd scan for the app, you scan this, it'll take you straight, like if you have an Android, it'll take you straight to um, Google Play and you download, it's an um, app called Lanner and uh, it works very simple. It works really good. Every time you get in the car, it automatically connects it to your phone and you can just open up the app and you can change the colors and different things like that. But these here, the way it's gonna work, it's here, this is one set. So this one here, is going to be for the footwell light and then this is the length you need to get to the back underneath and we're just going to stuff the um, cables up underneath the trim and you won't even see the cable so it's going to work out pretty good and like i said you got two sets here here is where we're going to when we disconnect the um, lights we're going to use these two right here to connect and this will go into the light itself and this will get go back into the original power to send it all the way through. So, and um, once we have, with the doors open, as soon as I connect them, they're gonna come on. So we're gonna know instantly if they're working or not, if we did it correctly. So that makes it a lot easier. Oh, did I say, this is for the Model 3 or the Model Y, okay? This will fit the Model 3 and Y. 
hopefully the 2020s and 2021 models. Um, just check it out on their website. If you are interested in this, I will have the link down below in my description. It'll take you straight to Amazon and you can purchase it there. Um, let's get started on installation. They do have an installation video on the instructions. You don't need that because you're watching my video. I'm telling you, this is going to be pretty simple to do. Uh, easy installation steps, remove the front foot well bottom panel, and then remove the uh, driver passenger side foot, lot, foot light, uh, connect the neon strip light to the light source, routing the wire underneath the door to the bottom, and then you download the app. It's pretty simple. Right there you go. And if you do have any issues, you can go straight to their website, or you can email them at support at Okay. Well, let's get started on this. All right. One of the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out this one. Oops. Came out pretty easily. Pull out the rest of it. So you just got this little piece right here. This will just put it back in there. Like that. Have it ready to install later. Put it right there. How about one screw right here? I'm going to use this tool that they gave me. All right, once you have this one and this one and this one removed, simply pull this out. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my light here, push that little button down, remove the cable, just like that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my kit, and I'm gonna plug this in right here into my light, just like that. Take this one, like this, right there, and look, my lights came back on. Look at that, I already got my lights on, perfect. All right, the next thing I gotta do is put this back up in here. And I'm gonna bring cable for my other light come over through the back side here so it's ready to go once I have this up this we're going to end up mounting it up under here right now like this Got it all clicked back in there. And I'll take that wire right there. This I'm gonna end up mounting right there. Just like that. And that'll be perfect right above my feet. Alright, put the screws back in. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this screw back in. Goes right here. I'm gonna take my push pin. Get it started and push that in the rest of the way. Do the same thing. Alright, before I go, the stick. Let's put this back on. Or not back on, let's put this on. Protective paper sticker. But that light is on there. See the wire Went right back in there is hidden all the way across. And then we have our our rear light light coming through right here, which I'm gonna stuff right down behind there. Alright, the first thing I'm gonna do, take my wire. I'm just gonna stuff it behind this trim panel. Underneath 
here. And I will tell you one thing, it's gonna be hard for me to do it with one hand. I'm gonna use a little tool they gave me just to pry up a little bit. Oh, look at that. So, they want you to go right there. Is you're gonna go right here where your carpet splits. And we're gonna send the cable up through there and we're gonna push the light through in there somewhere. All right, so what I'm gonna do, doing this with one hand is not easy, but I wanna lift up my seat right here. I wanna send this cable or this light. It has to go through and then we'll fix it when we get on the other side. And I'm just gonna push this cable right through here so it's not seen. All right, so the first thing I did is I just pulled my light through, I got my cable, ran right here over it. And the next thing you gotta do is just find a place up here to put it through. And you feel these metal bars right here. They suggest you just stuff it up underneath them and then they'll stay right there. So let's see what I'm gonna do. The first thing I did is I did lift my seat all the way up. So I get as much clearance in here. And now I'm gonna have to climb in here and see where I'm gonna put them. All right, so hopefully you can see, but underneath here, once you get on here and you lay down, you can see that there's these little metal bars. And I, all I did is I just pushed the light right up in there and it's just sitting there. And you can see I got the cable ran. Didn't do anything different with the cable. The cable's just sitting in there and the bar is just sitting in between the, the white seat cushion there and the metal springs were part of the bottom of the seat there and it's just sitting underneath there. And that's gonna be all we need to do. All right, next thing I'm gonna do, pull up the rest of my stuff for the passenger side. Got my rest of my lights here. Pull if I need it, that. Get rid of the box. Let's get started on the passenger side now, in the front. All right, start off with, looks like you got about four of the little push button things you gotta take out. That's how you're supposed to do it right there, all at one piece. Sometimes these things aren't the easiest things to take out, but you can do it. There you go. Put the four of them out. I'm not even gonna take it out all the way. And I can see right here is my light. So the first thing I'm gonna do, use a little tool. Push it in there. Just like that. Get that disconnected. Take my connection piece here. Just like that. And look, now I got power. That's good. Connect up my other football light. Yeah. Lights came on instantly right there. And then the other, other thing I gotta do is I'm gonna take the short one here. I wanna send it right through that vent. And it's gonna be the best place for it. Just like that. Right. Let's get this back up in here. And if you're wondering, that box right there is your full self-driving computer. Right there. Right. Take this, and this right there. Make sure my cable hidden towards the back a little bit. So I'm just gonna mount this cable right there. Let's take this sticker off. And mount it. 
does have that protective coating on it. stuck up on there good. Let's finish running the wire down through here. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna run my cable from here up underneath this carpet and push it through underneath to the back side. Okay, so the next thing I did is I got my seat pushed all the way up and forward. Got the light hanging down right there. So now I'm gonna get underneath and try to put it through the same spot I did on the driver's side over there. All right, so I don't know if you can see, but right here, there's little metal bars. I just pushed the cable or the light right up underneath it. And I got it sitting underneath there as well. That's it. All right guys, so I got it installed. No issues, the lights are working. I wanted to wait until tonight, till it gets a little bit darker even from now and I'm gonna show you some footage. So let's go ahead and cut off to that right now. All right, take a look at this. These lights look good. Nice and bright. Even got my T logos out there. You can even change the colors. All kinds of different colors you can make it. Okay, I like them. They do the right amount of light. Um, as you can see, I can change through the colors. I can play with it. I personally like the blue. I can make it dark. I can make it bright. Uh, they they come on when your regular footwell lights come on, and they turn off when your car's off, and 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 it's during the daytime when you're driving. You're not wasting, so they should last a long time with the way they are. So that's that's a good thing instead of having them left on 24/7 or anything like that. So. Um, if this is something you're interested in, the link is down below, uh, straight to Amazon. You can purchase made from Bassner, and I do give these a thumbs up. I do like them. Um, it's pretty easy installation. You just got to take a little bit of time to walk through and do it. So until next time, guys, be safe, have fun, and most of all, keep driving. Check you later. Bye.